Good morning and welcome to Outdoors with John. Today is Saturday, April 25th, and we are here at the Quasipus Brook Preserve, another hike, Stonington hike. We are starting our hike here off Maritime Drive, um, which is near the Mystic Marine Life Aquarium. There's a small section of their parking lot dedicated to nature trail um, parking. Today we are hiking our 8th of 12 hike Stonington hikes. It's come to a very um, odd looking tree here. It's a good sized tree. It's probably about three, maybe six foot diameter round. And at the bottom of this tree is a branch that takes off almost at the ground level. And look how far it goes out. I'm gonna say that that's probably about 20 feet with the branch just parallel to the ground. It lifts up a little bit. Here are pretty well marked. Um, the yellow trails tend to be trails that cut across east to west uh, across the property here. If you take the yellow trail and head towards Pequasipa Center Road um, shortly after leaving the, the purple trail you will see the quarry over here on your right. We have two uh, small openings here. One here, which is the largest one, um, you can see the face that has been quarried. I'm not sure how deep it is. They must have brought a certain amount of stone out of here. Transportation may have been an issue. Um, but here's one quarry. And as we cross over here, um, we can see a second pit, much smaller, maybe not as productive, um, where they also dug some rock out of. And alongside here is all the grout or the tailings, the stuff that wasn't good enough to use is, is dispersed throughout the property here. So after crossing the power lines, we come to a five-way intersection. All of these trails look pretty large and pretty, um, pretty well used. The smallest one is over here on our left, which is the yellow trail heading off to the Denison P. Quasipus Nature Center. Um, and the Denison uh, homestead. So we're gonna go check that out next. Just a recap of where we've been. The map is orientated north to south. We started here at Coogan Boulevard and worked our way down the Stonebridge Trail, which is the Purple Trail, um, until we reached um, an intersection with the quarries. Um, and we actually checked out these two quarries over here. And then we followed, continued on the Stonebridge Trail or the Purple Trail till we came to this intersection here. And then we hiked along the Yellow Trail to the Denison Pequasipus Homestead, where we are now, right on Pequasipus Road. Um, we are still heading south towards Miss Tuxet Road here. After crossing the fields at the Denison Homestead, we came into a more of a forest situation and we're almost at the south end here. All right, we've uh, come back from Miss Tuxet, short walk on the Purple Trail. We came from this way on the right, but we're gonna stay left. Side trail brings us up to the top of a ledge. We're gonna go check it out. On the top here, we have a commanding view of the swamp. <laughs> so we just come out of the woods on a Denison farm trail, and we've come to a field. And on the far side of the field are the power lines. And there's a good set of signs here. So we're gonna take the trail to our right here to Coogan Farm. As we leave the field here, we come immediately into a wet section. 
on the trail, the blue trail heading to Coogan Farm. Come to an intersection. Uh, the blue trail goes to the left, goes to Coogan Farm. If you've seen my Snake Stonerton videos before, you know I love stone walls. So this is pretty incredible. I found a, a plaque here about stone walls. Basically, there's a couple types of stone walls here that they're talking about. Terraced walls, which it would enclose a meadow. Uh, lace walls, which would are created by loose stones uh, from cleared fields, maybe to keep sheep and stuff in. And these taller walls that we've seen are sometimes built to keep uh, bulls away from cows. Um, and even local, some of these local quarries were for the purpose of quarrying some cut stone. Um, and there is a quarry site here on the Coogan Farm property that we'll try to check out. As you can see here, we've kind of come to the Coogan Farm area. Well, there's a building up there. Um, I'm not going to head on out there because there's probably more people over there. But uh, this site can be easily accessed from uh, Germanville uh, Route 27 in Mystic um, if you want to check it out sometime when it's open. And there are rock walls everywhere here. But over on our left, it looks like they've got some bees that they're keeping. And we're looking at the Gallup Orchard. The Gallops were another family that owned this area. Um, off in the distance, you can see remnants of some orchard trees. We have the uh, ham pavilion up there on the hill. Um, and this looks like some kind of a corral here because it's a small enclosed area of high walls. When you come to the near the top of the gallop uh, orchard here, you're going to see a sign that says Visitor Center, which is where you came from, and Masonic Care to the right. Um, that is the direction that you want to go if you want to stay on this trail. You can see that they're doing an awful lot of work to clear out these meadows. My hat goes off to the folks who are out here doing this very difficult work. The green trail works its way around back towards Ham Pavilion, which is over there. Um, and you can see where we were before. Hey, this is another good marker here. We are at the junction here with the Stillman Mansion. It's gonna be over here and I can see it already. These are the remains of the Stillman Mansion. Uh, started in the late 1880s, but never completed. It was to be a 49 room mansion. Stillman was a lawyer from New York City. His wife's parents' home were here in, in the area and he was building this as a summer home. Must have had some money. You can see it would have been a grand structure if it had actually been complete. Well, that was pretty, pretty cool. I've lived here since the early 1990s and I had no idea we had a abandoned mansion in town. Come check it out, it's really cool. Here on the Purple Trail, um, we've come to a very small quarry and uh, this would be where the farmer would have grabbed some of his straight rocks to build some of the really tall walls um, back at the farm. To put it in perspective, and this kind of just hit me here, there had to have been a lot of small quarries around because stone was hard to haul any distance. We're on the purple trail looking at some very large boulders that were set aside for this stone wall. Um, we're at the top of a cliff here looking down here in Masonic Care. Over here is Masonic Care, but uh, again, this is a uh, farmer just trying to clear their field. Looks like the path to the field here is mostly underwater, so we're going to try another route. I'm going to wrap up our hike here at Tequasipas Brook Preserve. We did about five and a half miles today. Um, we did more than, than the preserve itself. We did some trails in Denison, uh, Tequasipas Nature Center. We also did the Coogan Farm and they're all intertwined and related. Um, so we got uh, about five and a half miles worth of hiking out here. So thanks a lot for coming along with me today. I really appreciate it and I hope to see you out here on another hike.